Hey y'all, Dee here. Remember last week when I put up the breadcrumbs and the veggies that I got from the roadside stand? Well today I'm going to show you how I use some of those. Today I'm scheduled to go back to the barn to make sure that things are moving along nicely. We've got some work getting done down there and I want to take some time to go take a video and show you. Since I'm going to be gone tonight, I need to think about how the family up here is going to eat. I'm going to use the vegetables that I put up last week. So I started some bacon crisping. I like to cook the bacon a little bit before I put it in the beans. But it's going to be really, really simple. I'm going to take the green beans that I, remember, I didn't blanch these green beans. I just cut them, popped them in the freezer, just like they were. Take those and put those in, hmm, they smell good already. And pop them in a crock pot. I always put bouillon in my green beans. Uh, this is chicken bouillon, just because I think that it enhances the broth that they cook in. and makes them a lot tastier. And of course, we always have to have garlic in everything we eat. You know we're garlic people around here. And that's okay because garlic's really, really good for you. Peel those skins off. These will go in my camper compost that I'm working on. It's been rainy today and cold. I'm hoping that we get our summer back pretty soon. Cloves of garlic in the crock. Some people may find it strange, but I use garlic and onions in my green beans. I just feel like it enhances the flavor. Now, I had some leftover onion pieces from cooking supper all week. And I'm going to be gone for a few days from the camper. So I want to use this up so it's out of the refrigerator and doesn't have a chance to go back. So pretty much, I'm for that quart of green beans, I'm using one medium-sized onion. Next, I'm going to pour some water over it. And I'm going to fill it up all the way to the top of my food. I don't want to splurge on the on the liquid. I'm going to throw in some salt, about a teaspoon, and some pepper. Now I have some Yukon Gold and some red potatoes that I'm going to sink in there. I'm going to try to put as many as I can in. And I always try to make sure they get sunk below the water. Last but not least, I need bacon. Bacon is going to give these beans such a great flavor. And like I said, I like to cook my bacon up first. Seems like the flavor is just better fried and then put in the beans. I'm just going to chop it up. So small. Some of my bacon got a little bit burnt on me there. I got distracted. And it doesn't matter if you have pieces that aren't quite cooked, because it's going to go ahead and cook the rest away in your crock pot. Put the lid on. Turn it on high. I'm going to let that cook until 6 o'clock tonight. That'll be six hours. Okay, so now that we've got our beans going, and they should be good and done by 6 o'clock tonight, I'm going to have my husband actually send me a picture of these after they get cooked, and I will post it on my Facebook page, Homestead Rewind. I want to talk about meat. I buy all of my beef from the butcher up the town. Um, that way I'm sure that I'm getting fresh beef and it really does make a difference. If you can at all afford, go up and find your butcher and see if they have package prices. I buy a box of beef at a time and it not only do I get a great deal but I get great meat. So I have a pound of hamburger here and I have my package of 
bell peppers. I haven't thawed these out. I'm not going to. But I bang it on there because I'm not going to need the whole bag for the size of meatloaf that I'm making today. And remember what I said in my last video? You can just break off ever how much you think you need. And I'm going to use about half this package. I already have some bell peppers and onions chopped up that I had in the refrigerator. And I want to get them out. Like I said, it's going to be a few days before I get back up here. Get in my corners. Push in the air. And right straight back into the freezer it goes. Okay, so when it comes to adding veggies to your meatloaf, there's no right or wrong. You can put as little or as much in there. And like I said, I'm trying to use up all my scraps so that I don't have surprises waiting for me in my refrigerator when I get back to the campground. All right, come on over to the mixer and I'll show you how I put this thing together. Well, okay guys, I forgot to turn my camera on. How many times do I do that? So let me catch up to speed. First of all, I put my one pound of hamburger in there, and then I put two cups of my breadcrumbs. Remember those from last week's video? I showed you how to make the breadcrumbs. They were nice and handy for me, and I'm in a kind of a hurry. That's probably why I forgot to turn my camera on. But after I mix very well the breadcrumbs and the meat very well together, scraping the sides once in a while, I then put three eggs in. I'm sorry, I put two eggs in, but I'm thinking now that I need another egg in that. Let's stir it and see. Because I want the egg to moisten my breadcrumbs. And those just don't feel quite moist enough to me. So I'm going to add another egg. And it's important that you use this. If you're going to use the KitchenAid mixer, it's important you use this hook. You can do this by hand if you want. I just prefer this method. Okay, that's a little bit better. Everything's sticking together really well. Now is the time that I add my vegetables. And when you take those bell peppers out, they do free, they're frozen in a block. But I want to show you, this is why you can use just however many. Bell peppers will never freeze ice solid. You can always break them apart. Always remember, stir that down. And you can see that the vegetables are starting to get incorporated into the meat now. Okay, normally I would put in fresh herbs, but since I'm in my camper and we just come out of winter, I don't feel like I can be picking on my herbs yet. This is Italian seasoning. It's a dried herb. It's a mixture of herbs. And I put quite a little bit of that in there now. Okay, it looks like everything is all incorporated together. I've got my glass bacon dish and I'm just going to spray it a little with canola oil so it don't stick. Pull all that meatloaf out, pop it in the pan. Now you want to be sure and squish your meatloaf into those corners. And make sure that it's packed. Since I'm in a hurry today, I'm not going to make my meatloaf sauce that I normally do. I'm just going to squirt it with ketchup. And I'm going to use quite a bit of ketchup on there too. Now I'm going to seal the meatloaf with bacon because 
Because everybody loves bacon, right? Now you can use as little or as much of this as you want, or none at all if you don't want. We just like our bacon around here. And I like to seal it off so that while it's cooking, all those juices get down in there. I plan to put it in the oven on a really low temperature and let it cook while I'm gone. Okay, I think I'm ready to get started packing to go home and check on the homestead. If y'all enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to share my channel with somebody that you might think is interested. Stay tuned for new videos on what's happening at the homestead. Peace and love to everyone. Clearly, going right in the front.